In this video, I will explain the use of the viewfinder. I sent the viewfinder to you and now I'm going to explain what it is. So all you need is a pencil, HB pencil, and maybe a 2B or 4B, and a piece of paper. With the HB, we're drawing exactly the same grid on the paper than you have on the viewfinder. That's actually the inside of the viewfinder. And it has to be meticulously the same. Then you're going to, with a soft pencil, uh, tone the whole page to just give you already a start. It's not a, a bright white page any longer. And then you're going to draw the object, in this case an apple, but I'm going to show you a chair, which is a lot more complicated, so that you see how the viewfinder works for everything you draw. You smudge it, and then you're going to use the plastic to draw with a marker, but it's a marker that you can wipe off, a dry eraser, and then you draw on the plastic the chair. Again, the chair is a lot more complicated than an apple, but I'm just going to show you what it does, what the viewfinder does. Then you put it upside down and you copy exactly all the lines that you see. Then you get rid of the viewfinder and you look at your object. And now you're going to see the negative spaces, but you already have the proportions of the object correct or fairly good. So now you're ready to make the drawing. That is the, uh, how the viewfinder works. It works like a charm. The most complicated things become easy and eventually you don't need the viewfinder anymore. It's like training wheels and you can see it because of the negative spaces. So now for the apple, you're going to smudge the page. You're going to draw the apple on the plastic. I mean, it's a circle, so it's not that hard. But just to, to practice also to hold the viewfinder and also to see where the shadows are and how big they are and how strong they are. Then you get rid of the grid lines because we don't want to see that. Then we smudge the grid lines. Also, when you make a mistake, you smudge it so that your whole paper keeps being the same kind of gray. Then you squint and you see how strong the shadows are, where the lightest light is. And now you see why we tone the paper, because now it becomes easy to erase the lightest light. This is hatching and cross-hatching, and I will explain that in depth in the videos so don't worry too much about it but this is what it is and now the lightest light is going to be on that side so I can hatch the apple still a little bit I don't know which one is darker the background or the apple itself it depends the color of the apple and the, and the surface now we're going with a little eraser pick up the lightest light and here you have the most simple drawing of an apple. If you have any questions, just send me an email and we go from there. Good luck!